You know what I find incredible? It's the fact that we are over a decade into Halo 3's life cycle, and it's just incredible that we're getting new content like this. I've never played on this map before, but you know me, as the guy that loves the Forge and Unreal Engine stuff and all types of, you know, things in that realm, a new map in Halo 3, one of my favorite Halo games of all time, is definitely something I have to walk through and and showcase. I was never actually able to play Halo online. I didn't catch that wave. I wasn't a part of that. But um, apparently this came from that game. Uh, it was ported over. I'm sure they made some changes to it. But overall, the, the aesthetics in general look great. Like they really, really do. And you know me as an aesthetic guy. I love scale, right? So to be able to see the cyberpunk looking city in the background with all the neon lights and the really nice ambiance with the the snow and just the ice and the lighting that matches the snow, like the white lights. This right here is a really cool feature as well. Like, I'm hoping in Infinite they have a lot of interactive elements in the levels, right? Something that makes the entire map feel alive. I'm not exactly sure what this guy is looking for. And by the way, there's no pilot in there, but you know, Regardless, um, this is such a cool remaster of that classic, epic Halo 2 map that I love playing on, man. I, yeah, this is this is really well done. And for the first time ever seeing it, I don't know what any of this says. First time seeing it, it's pretty impressive. I kind of wish there was a scarab here, though, like there was in the first one, but it is what it is. I feel like a fun thing that you could make on here is an infection mode. Absolutely. Like imagine making an infection map on this. That could be a lot of fun. There's so many different like, so many different pathways here that are fairly detailed that you can make something really fun on. So maybe I do that. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to make a infection map on this. That can definitely be a good time. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There's not really much to see with this with this map. I mean, it's new. It's in Halo 3. I find that incredible because you know, like I've said, it this this game's over a decade old and it's still getting content as cool as this. Like I find that personally amazing. Snipers up top, which is pretty cool. You've got the Winter Warthog in the center here. Yeah, this map is sick. If you uh, haven't gotten into the flight, you know, just be patient. Hopefully you do. But if you don't get into the flight, you definitely have something to look forward to when Season 8 drops. There's so much cool stuff in here. The armor is nuts. Let me see if I can do this before I end the video. Um, oh, where's the... Uh, I need to get the brute. Yeah, let's check this out. Bro, look at my arms, man. Look at my arms. That's insane. I feel like a beast with these spikes. And then look at look at look at my legs down here. Look, check this out. How crazy is that? You could actually see my helmet right there. It's there's dude, there's so many new features in season eight. Three four three is going uh, above and beyond to create some really cool stuff for MCC. I don't know how that's gonna translate into to infinite or if people even like what they're doing with MCC, but dude, look at the arms. This is this is the coolest thing ever for Halo 3. I'm very happy with it. I love this map. The aesthetics are cool and it inspires me to make a new map, some type of infection map. So hopefully, hopefully I get the time to do that. And if I do, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, enjoy this if you're in the flight. And if not, you got something really to look forward to. Icebox, Halo 3, over a decade later. It's pretty incredible.